I think we've put together a pretty cool project here. The It's Only Natural project has a bunch of Oak Ridge Boys songs from the past that we've redone, refreshed a bit, uh, including Elvira. We're celebrating 30 years of Elvira. And uh, we've done a brand new version of that on this project. And we have five brand new songs as well So that are really five cool, great new songs. So it's great for the Oak Ridge Boys to be making some new music and have a new CD out. And Richard Sturban even sings lower on the <laughs> Oom Papa Mau Mau's on this one than he did on the original. I think I lost my razor in 1980, and we had Elvira in 1981, so they're about the same age, actually. My beard has been voting for uh, <laughs> 10 years now. Up and down my spine, cause I know that my Elvira is mine. I reflect back on the late 70s when the Oak Ridge Boys were having big country hit after big country hit. We were on big tours with Kenny Rogers. We were winning all the awards. We were like the lady antebellum of our day back then without the girl, without the pretty girl. Then all of a sudden in 1981, Ron Chancey brings this song to the table and it just became a monster, monster hit song. It took us from being a country music, major country music act at the time to a household name. Before we do the honors and formally induct the Oak Ridge Boys uh, into the Opry. I was feeling pretty good until they said, and now we have a special message for you on the screen from former President George Herbert Walker Bush. I think of the Opry and the Oaks both as American icons. All of a sudden his face appeared on that screen and the things that he said about the Oak Ridge Boys and how much we meant to him and how much we meant to America. Hey, I could cry. I could cry about it now. And to see our president say what he said. So, yeah, it was very emotional for me. <laughs> <laughs>